Beautiful, what are we doing today? We are getting on the motorbike. We're gonna do a day trip to Cap, which is like a seaside town here. And it's very famous for crabs, so I'm excited to try some of their local crab. And along the way, we're gonna see what we can find. There's a lake, there's pepper plantations, there's viewpoints. Let's, let's see what we get up to. In this episode, we hop onto a motorbike to explore this relaxing and beautiful region of Cambodia, Kampa. We first headed off to an iconic pepper plantation here in Kampa to try a variety of different pepper seasoning. Remember the last pepper I know, we I ate? I remember the last time. <laughs> let oh! It, oh. <laughs> let it all out. Yeah. If you're not a spice person, warning, this may not be for you. Along our journey, we stumbled upon what the locals like to call Secret Lake, with some pretty cool hammocks to kick back and relax in. Dude, this is sick. Oh my god. Look how nice this lake is. And with hours of daylight still left, we decided, hey, why not head down to the beach where we later found some of the freshest, and I mean freshest seafood from a very local market. Oh, he's getting it from there. She's bringing in some fresh crab for us right now. Oh, wow. And if you missed last week's episode, be sure to head over to the Cambodia series to see what we have been up to. Now, let's hop into today's adventures. We drove through a bunch of little villages, basically. I'm in heaven. I love this kind of travel. And we don't really know where we are, but we stopped. We saw a big red sign right here. Oh, and Gansberg beer. Gansberg beer. But actually, we honestly just spotted those hammocks by the river that we were going to. So we stopped. We pulled it in here and asked this dude if he had some food. And, and they his have menu. Can I show a lot of Khmer food here. So this is the nice gentleman in this restaurant here. Look at their menu. They got so much stuff. I don't know what anything is. Yeah, we don't know what anything is, but Nothing we ended up going with four fried rice because that's like the safest bet, safest you know? One. I love it though. I think it's really cute. We weren't lying when we said it was dusty. Dude, I took out my nice black shirt today. You took out your nice black shirt? <laughs> for, the, for the vlog? Yeah. So I look nice? Yeah. And this is what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I was joking we were gonna go home with like orange dust all over I know. our faces, but it's already That's happened. why I started wearing a mask because even driving home yesterday it was so yeah. dusty. Would you look at that? Now that's a nice lake if I've ever seen one. Oh my god. He, he pissed at he you. Charged he charged you. Yeah. Because you're dusty. <laughs> <laughs> this is sick. Oh my god. Look how nice this lake this is. is what I was expecting from wow. Home. The reflection on the lake. All right, who's going out in the kayak? Yeah. Captain Brennan, he's the yeah. he's the skipper of the crew. I'm going to need to be promoted from unpaid intern <laughs> to paid intern. Yeah. <laughs> ah, she's got her food. Yay! Oh, that looks good too. Oh, yeah. we are ah, Akun, thank you. Hmm? We're gonna be full. Oh yeah. You laid on a nice mat. We just made it to La Plantation. We're just trying to find the owners because we don't really know what's going on. Hello. Oh, it looks like this is part of it here. Okay, you come from this, right? Yeah. Yes. You can go at the big building over there. We two start over there also. Oh, okay. Ah, okay, okay. Cool. okay, thank you. Okay, thank you. Looks like the cooking class is going to be right here, but really, really cool so far. First step here. Oh, it's just. Tourist. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> Tourists starting off great, guys. Yes. We got some free hats. <laughs> Extra UV ray protection, right, Francis? I like it. <laughs> so, obviously, we're starting off the tour with a little sun protection. Bow to you guys. Tree is better under the sun. Yeah. Right now, I will be your bodyguard. Okay. Oh, yeah, wow. I, pre I protect you around the farm. Okay. Yeah, no one of. Uh, like a uh, make you uh, afraid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm strong, uh, small, strong, <laughs> but I run very fast. <laughs> okay, welcome to the plantations. Thank you for coming here. But uh, you know, people in Cambodia are kind. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> don't worry. Like right now, I will be your bodyguard. <laughs> okay, let's go over there. I will explain you more about the pepper. 
Mm. Okay. okay. Yes, let's go. So what's really cool about the La Plantation is actually owned by foreigners and they do a lot of things to give back to the community. They provide housing, jobs, meals, and they also support these schools that are around here. You were saying a hundred and how many kids? Uh, more than 100 students. Yeah, more than 100 primary students. So they're giving back to the community, which is really cool. This one is the dragon fruit tree. It's not a cactus, don't confuse. When it came to the plantation, I already asked them, what is this? They said, is this, it is a cactus. <laughs> but I said, no, it's not a cactus. It's a dragon fruit tree. For the leaf, the leaf of the lemongrass, you can use to make a tea. Yeah, we can use to make a tea also. And especially you can use it to make a mosquito spray. It's a lovely. Yeah, cut it to your home. <laughs> Not here. <laughs> Just joking. Okay, you want to smell? It smells like lemongrass. Yeah? Yeah, it smells really good actually. Oh, it smells so good. Like super fresh. It smells like a spa. Yeah, it does. It smells exactly like a spa. Yeah. Very fresh. I like it. Mm -hmm. We continued around the farm, learning the process of how pepper seasoning is made all the way from harvest up until they're in bottles on the shelf. When we harvest all the ripe, we have to soak in the hot water for 15 minutes. And after that, we dry under the sun two to three days, it will become red. I'm not going to lie, we learned about so many different types of peppers, the information got lost in the wind. Plus, it was also like a billion degrees outside. All right, time to do a pepper taste test. Farmers don't have cameras. Howdy. Howdy. <laughs> All right, we are about to do a pepper tasting test. <laughs> So this is not rice anymore, Brennan. Yeah. No, <laughs> it's, it's pepper. It's something new for the vlog. <laughs> something new for the vlog. How much you like the pepper? We have one plus, two plus, three plus. You can take across after you. Uh, you think it's, oh, I like this one. You can take uh, the three plus. Easy for you to choose other product. Easy, you, uh, easy for you to find other product. Cool. Cool. Okay, cool. where you from, sorry? Republic. Check, okay. Okay, same, same. Same thing but different. <laughs> okay, it's very hot. Yeah. Yeah. No joke, no happy. <laughs> Trust me. Okay, you see it's on the top of the list. The first one is the red long pepper. We got the red long pepper here. Mm. It tastes pretty good actually. Yes. Might be bad for you. Not for me. Going for the water. Oh my god. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Let it all up. <laughs> yeah, pepper expensive. <laughs> no words. Yeah. Why are we doing this again? <laughs> I don't know. Right, learned a bloody lot about peppers there. And all the different kinds of peppers. They actually had a lot of tasty peppers. And they weren't actually too, too spicy. But we are dying of the heat. I'm so faded right now because of it. So we are gonna head down to Cap and try to see if we can find a beach. I don't know the state of beaches there. Are they blue water, brown water? Red water. Red water. I guess I guess we're gonna find out together. The motorbike, what are we doing, Francis? Uh, we are heading to Cap now. Do you know anything about the beaches? Are they nice? I have no idea. Like blue water? I haven't even seen a photo. Brown water? I have no idea. Black water? I don't know. Green water. I don't know. Algae water. I haven't seen it. We're not fresh been water. There Stop. Salt water. It's the ocean. <laughs> it's the ocean. Yeah. But fresh water. We're gonna go to a fresh body of water, and we're gonna go swimming. All right. So we just made it here to Cap Beach, and just between these little houses right there you can see some blue water which I'm surprised about because on our way to Camp Pot we drove by a beach and it just looked brown so I wasn't expecting much when we came to Cat Beach but so far it looks really nice and another key tip guys if you actually come into this parking lot right in front of the beach down there if you try to park here or you try to park anywhere in front of these it'll be five US dollars but you can move your bike from there 10 meters to over there and it's free Alright. Oh, we got our teas, guys. There you go. Thank you. Guys, we got our tea. Let's head down to the beach. <laughs> we are in this beautiful blue water, but there's a problem to it. 
all the water we've found in Southeast Asia so far has been really, really, really warm. And there's a lot of rocks in this little section we're in right now. It's pretty shallow, hey? Warm? It's so shallow. Okay, talk to yourself. Oh, she's gone. That was... My that. butt hit the ground. <laughs> it's so shallow. That was picturesque. <laughs> it's so warm. So warm, hey? People, crab. People look like crab, talk like people. <laughs> we the nickname of the people of cat. We call them cat people, we call themselves crab people. So, yeah. <laughs> I was so confused. I was like, is this like a, a chant that everybody knows? Most people actually know that. Yeah, I knew it. A lot you of, knew it. He knew it. Oh, he knew it. Yeah. You don't know it? No, I've never heard of it. We are the crab people. Uncultured swine. <laughs> Uncultured. From the beach, we drove around the corner to Kep's Crab Market, a very local market that sells a variety of fresh seafood that is literally brought out of the ocean and cooked right in front of you. It was so, so good. Wow, it's like proper market. It feels like we're in like one of those movies. It's this pretty cool market. It feels like I'm on the set of some action movie. They're running through the favela somewhere and it's like a crime action scene happening. But you can see there's like fresh barbecue grilling right here. And this whole market's actually really, really, really big. You can buy fresh stuff just there. And they'll cook it We can buy it right off the fisherman for $8 a kilo. Is that what he just said? Yeah, and then we can take it and somebody will cook it here. Oh, oh he's getting it from there. So guys, you can get some pretty fresh crab. She's literally dragging in a crate full of crab. And we're going to get a kilo of crab to eat. Yeah. Monkey girl? Monkey girl? <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and you can cook for us? Uh, cook pepper. Cook pepper. 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 Okay. Uh, $10 all, one kilo. $10 all, one yeah. kilo, $2 to cook. Okay. Yeah. Should we do that, guys? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, okay. That sounds good. You can see, they literally pulled that out of the water. So fresh. Like, literally right in those crates, just right out there. We guys, we get a front row cooking show of how it's actually done too. But yeah, yeah, Oh yes, everything. You can see right now, she is just cutting up the crab right in half. <laughs> Here we have it guys. Glaze and whatever sauce that is too. Here it is guys. Literally fresh out the ocean, cooked straight to our plate. Yeah, it's pretty good. Look at that, look inside of it. You can see that there's a, some nice glaze on it. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Hey guys, what is our consensus? Did we approve of that meal? Yeah, it was really good. Really, really, really good. All right guys, so we've had an amazing day so far. It was super, super relaxed. Quite a raw, casual vlog, but we got to see some really cool things. The secret lake, the plantation, the beach, and also this really cool crab market here where excellent seafood for sure, so you have to check it out. But right now, we are gonna head back into town. I'm gonna put the camera down for the rest of the day because we don't have a lot more things to do today. But if you guys enjoyed this video and you wanna keep us on the road, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. You feel alive, let's hit the dance floor. Don't work too hard, my break a backbone. Return to the Mac, the king.